Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering difference between file system and DBMS. Guys, I have uploaded a complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, file system is nothing but text file. When computer was first introduced, we used to store our data in text file. For example, I open notepad in my computer and I will write some text like my name, rule number, section and so on. Now I will save this file with name file.txt. As we know, we will save text files with .txt extension. So I will save this file with name file.txt. File based systems were an early attempt to computerize the manual system. Manual system is nothing but physical record like books. Books is an example of manual system. In olden days when computer was not at all introduced, we used to store our data in books. But later on when computer was first introduced, we used to store our data in files. Guys, we also call file system as traditional based approach or we can also call it as decentralized approach. What is meaning of this decentralized approach? For example, if you consider DBMS, we call DBMS as centralized approach. Centralized approach means all data is stored in one place is known as centralized approach. For example, let us consider there are three employees. One employee wants to store student details and next employee wants to store subject details and next employee wants to store student results. In single database itself, these employees can create three different tables and they can insert data. So in single database, we are storing all this information. So we call it as centralized approach. In file system, we will not store data in one place. Instead, we will create three different files in order to store three different informations. So we call file system as decentralized approach, whereas centralized approach means all data is stored in one place is known as centralized approach. And whereas decentralized approach means for different information, we need to create different files. So we also call file system as traditional based approach in which a decentralized approach was taken, where each department stored and controlled its own data with the help of data processing specialist. In decentralized approach, each department will store and control its own data with the help of data processing specialist. The role of data processing specialist is to create files and manage files. This is simple structure of file system. For example, I want to store student information like student name, student rule number, student section, student marks and so on. So for that purpose, I need to create one separate student file. And similarly, I want to show subject details like subject name, subject ID, subject room and so on. So for that purpose, again, I need to create one separate subject file and I want to show result of the student. It contains details like student name, student rule number, subject name and marks and so on. So for that purpose, again, I need to create one separate result file. So for different details, we need to create different files. Guys, there is one disadvantage in file system like only one person can view one file at a time. For example, this person opened this file. So whenever this person opened this file, this person cannot access this file. Only if this person close this file, then he can access. So only one person can view file at a time. And whereas in DBMS, DBMS is centralized approach. So multiple users can view DBMS at a time. DBMS is nothing but it is software. For example, let us consider these three students open this database management system at a time in order to check marks. So at a time, these three persons can check marks. By using DBMS, multiple users can view data at a time. A database approach is a well-organized collection of data that are related in a meaningful way which can be accessed by different users but stored only once in a system. That is nothing but in database we will store data in organized format like we will store all names in one place, rule numbers in one place and so on. And we will store this data in tables format which is very easy to access. And not only single user, there will be multiple users who will use database at a time. And whatever the data that all these users will store, this data is stored in single database. The various operations performed by DBMS system are insertion, deletion, selection, sorting and etc. By using database management system software, we can perform various operations on database. Like we can create tables inside database, we can insert data, we can delete data, we can modify data, we can update data and so on. This is simple structure of DBMS. All these three files are stored in DBMS. So multiple users can access all these files at a time. Guys, in DBMS, we will store data in tables format. Like student details in one table, subject details in one table and result in one table. Guys, DBMS is nothing but it is a software. By using this software, we can create database, we can insert tables inside database, we can insert data, delete data and so on. 
Guys, these are following differences between DBMS and file systems. The file system is a software that manages and organizes the files in a storage medium within a computer. For example, if you consider Notepad, Notepad is example of file system. And we will show these files in storage medium like hard disk in computer itself. And whereas DBMS is nothing but it is a software. By using the software, we can manage database. Like we can create database, we can insert tables, data and so on. Next one is data redundancy. Duplicate data can be present in file and there is no duplicate data in DBMS. For example, in file, name SAI rule number 21 and section A repeated twice. Files cannot automatically identify duplicate values. So we cannot avoid duplicate values in files. And whereas in DBMS, for example, this particular record name SAI rule number 21 and section A repeated twice. In DBMS, there is one technique called normalization technique. By using this normalization technique, we can easily identify duplicate values. So we can avoid duplicate values in DBMS. Data redundancy is nothing but duplicate values. Whereas in file, we cannot remove duplicate values. But whereas in DBMS, we can easily identify and remove duplicate values. If there is no duplicate values, then data will be correct in DBMS. That is nothing but we can achieve consistency. That is correctness of data in DBMS. File system will not provide any backup and recovery and whereas DBMS will provide backup and recovery. For example, suddenly I deleted data which is present in my file. Once if we delete any data inside my file, we cannot restore the data. For example, suddenly I deleted data which is present in database. So even though if we delete data in database, we can easily restore data. There is no efficient query processing in file system. And whereas in DBMS, there is efficient query processing. For example, I want list of strengths who filled in exam. So simply by writing query, we can easily find result of strengths who failed in exam. But whereas in file system, there is no efficient query processing. There is less data consistency in file system, whereas there is more data consistency in DBMS. In DBMS, there is one technique called normalization technique. By using this normalization technique, we can easily identify duplicate values. By using this technique, we can achieve data consistency. Next one is complexity. File system is less complex and DBMS is more complex. Less complex is nothing but person those who don't have any knowledge can also use files. But whereas in order to use DBMS, person should learn structured query language that is SQL. In order to perform various operations on database, we need to learn structured query language. So DBMS is more complex. And next one is security. File system provides less security and whereas DBMS provide more security. And next one is cost. File system is less expensive when compared to DBMS and whereas DBMS is high cost when compared to file system. And next one is data independency. In file system, different data is stored in different files. So there is no data independency. But whereas in DBMS, all data is stored in single database. So there is data independency. And next one is user access. Only one user can use file at a time and whereas multiple users can use one database at a time. There is no need of writing procedures in files and whereas we need to write procedures in DBMS in order to manage database. For example, I want to get information about student whose rule number is 25. I need to write procedure like select star from student where rule number equal to 25. So it will display entire record of the student whose rule number is 25. But whereas in file system, we will not write any procedures. Next one is sharing. As we know in files, we will store different data in different files. So it is very hard to share data. And whereas in DBMS, all files are stored in one place. So it is easy to share data. And next one is data abstraction. For example, if you consider file, in file it will give complete information like where file is located, file size and so on. And whereas in DBMS, it will add complete internal details. It will just display data, but it will not display any internal details like, like size, location, it will not display anything. Just it will display data, that's it. And next one is integrity constants. Guys, constants are nothing but rules. We cannot apply any rules to files, but whereas we can apply some rules to database. For example, in this employee table, I apply not null constant to this salary column. Whenever we apply not null constant to this salary column, if we do not enter any value, it will not accept. So definitely we need to enter value. So in DBMS, we can apply many constants and whereas in files, we cannot apply any constants. Guys, last difference is file is unstructured. And whereas DBMS is structured. Guys, structured means in DBMS we will store data in the form of tables. But whereas in file system, we will not store data in the form of tables. 
just we will show data in text format so it is unstructured guys in exam you may get different questions like explain difference between file system and dbms or you may also get question like advantages of dbms over file system or you may also get questions like disadvantages of file system or explain file system for all these questions you can write this answer